Several months ago, I posted a video about uh, my decision to purchase a uh, LG V60 ThinQ 5G. And I gave a lot of the reasons for why I made that decision. And among them was battery life. My previous phone, an Apple iPhone XS, uh, was, was being worn out by about 11 in the morning, the way I used it. And I was having to charge it uh, about three times a day almost to keep it going. And I was just, it was just unsustainable. So I was looking for something with a big battery, and that's why I went with the LG V60, which has the 5,000 milliamp battery. So I thought I'd do in this video is to update that decision, not regarding everything, but specifically with regard to my experience with the battery in the LG V60. Uh, the LG V60 is not really my daily driver. It's my only phone. I mean, I'll be frank. I'm not a guy with lots of different phones. I only have one, and that's it, and I use it all day. I get, my day runs from about 7 in the morning to about midnight and I use it the most in the morning and again at night. And in the, the late to mid afternoon, I don't use it as much. So it, it just more or less sits around a lot during that time. Uh, and I've yet to exhaust the battery. Using it the same way I used the 10s. I've never gone, I think the worst I got down to was like 23% remaining. Usually by the end of the day, I'm somewhere between 45 and 55%. So if I really wanted to, I could probably go two days on a single charge uh, much of the time, but I don't. I recharge it every night on a slow charger up to 100%. I tried the, you know, keeping between 80 and 20, they say to promote battery life. And the, uh, I use AccuBattery and the battery indicator showed <laughs> the battery was declining a couple points every day when I was doing that. And finally, I gave up playing around with it and I just hooked it up one night and uh, let it charge from about midnight to seven on a, the, one of the slow chargers, my old Apple little brick thing, whatever that is, four or five milliamp charging, really slow. I mean, there's, there's no rush, I'm asleep. And I noticed that not only did it not go down anymore, it actually started going up. And it kept going up every night. And that was basically has been my routine. I'm not saying, you know, everybody uses their phone differently. Everybody's battery is different. I'm sure every battery in every LG phone is different. But in my experience was when I just started charging it up to 100% and then running it down to usually about 45, I was actually improving the expectations of how long this battery was going to last. I dropped at one point to like 4,700 and then it went over 5,000. And this morning I was running at uh, 5123 or something. And I'm running around 102, 103%. Now it had been up to into the 5,140 range. And now it's starting to drop down. It's 5,120. But it's been six months. It's used every day, uh, you know, routinely. I mean, very rarely do I have a day where I don't use it that much. And it's still rated above the 5,000 milliamp. For six months, and I mean, that's terrific. I usually don't keep a phone at the most two years. And at this rate, where is it going to be in, in a year or a year and a half or two years? <laughs> Certainly a lot better than my old iPhone XS. So, you know, basically what I wanted to say about the LG is they this phone has a great battery. Uh, I often wonder if I hadn't done what I did early on when I was driving it down, you know, where it would have been. But whatever it is right now, after six months of daily steady use, charging it up to 100% every night, running it down to usually 45 to 55 during the course of the day, I still am rated over 5,000 milliamps for battery life. And again, that's after six entire months. I think I got the phone actually on the 1st of April. It came in the mail from T-Mobile. And today is what, October 3rd? That is six months and a couple days, and I'm still rated at a hundred. I think it's 103 percent. I'll, I'll post a picture uh, in here when I get to editing. Still at 102 or 103 percent of battery capacity after six months. I think that's terrific. I mean, this this phone has exceeded my expectations of battery life. And as I said in the beginning, in my older video, purchasing a phone with a good large battery was one of the reasons I bought the LG V60. So I have not been disappointed by this battery and or by this phone for that matter. Now I should add here that I bought 
the uh, the folding part, so you have the, the dual screens. I would say on the average week, I might use the dual screen once. The things I do in the morning and early afternoon involve water and exercise, and I don't need the cumbersome screen, and I'm not even sure if the dual screen is actually waterproof, as is the phone itself. So if I put the dual screen on, it's usually you know, for only for the evening. Or if I have a phone call with somebody and I have to keep notes, I'll put it on because I can have the phone open on one side and my notes on the other side and I can keep notes with my pen and write down what people are telling me that I, I need to do or, or need to figure out. Uh, so I use it for that. But probably five or six out of seven days, I do not use the dual screen. The dual screen obviously will run your phone down faster. I've never used it for a full day. Because most of the things I do really don't lend themselves to needing a second screen. I mean, I'm doing usually one thing. Uh, so, so keep that in mind if you're looking to uh, buy an LG V60 about basically what I'm saying about it. It's excellent batter, battery life and what I think is an excellent battery. And as I said, the phone has not disappointed me. Well, I hope you found this information useful. Uh, if you did, uh, leave a comment. If you have observations of your own, again, leave them in a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. And that's pretty much it until the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm out of here.